this is another note that I'm making. This is for y'all as well as for me, so I can remind myself. But I want to do a video showing y'all in depth how bibliomania and a bibliophile and bibliomancy, along with the word grammary. So the worship of ink and paper and using books as like magical practices, which is not what we're doing here, but just to show y'all the way that double speak and double mindedness, how that carries into the use of language in order to manipulate people's minds and is used as a method of control. And without setting up false dichotomies, I would like to explain to y'all how pharmacia is used. And that's the way that the scripture says that the poison of asp are under their tongues and they flatter with their tongue and just the wicked use of language. And the scriptures even say that a lying tongue hates the, those who are afflicted by it. And just understanding what a hypocrite is or an actor. So I'm just going to help you all distinguish the magical practices of languages, which is translated witchcraft in the scriptures. But there's, I'll just go through the corrupt fruit with you all as well, as many as I can really explain, up until um, pharmacy, which is witchcraft. So that would be some of the corrupt fruit and explain to y'all how people turn language into a magical practice because they don't say and speak plainly as the scripture commands so much to use sound words and to use pure language and not corrupt language. So I hope that y'all find these studies that I'm about to do interesting. So thanks for watching. Bye.